hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for today i am using the oneplus nord 2 i upgraded to the oxon s13 stable version f22 few days back but our device or any oneplus devices on the oxon s13 didn't comes with the stock oxon s dialer or contact application it has this google dialer and contact app even in the phone dialer if you manually start the call recording it gives the call recording announcement it has this boring google contacts app too so today in this video we'll show you how you can install the oneplus dialer and contacts application latest version straight from the latest oxon s13.1 for any oneplus devices this application will works only on the oxon s13 and 13.1 these applications are not tested on Oxon S12, but I will test them soon and will report it via community post. Watch video till the end for proper installation and uses of application because single step you miss it will not work properly. Now with the further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Download these two application phone and contacts apk from the links given under the video description. Now manually install them one by one. In the app drawer we will see two different contacts application. One is stock Oxon OS and another one is google contact application. Similarly you will find two different phone applications. Now go to the setting there search for the apps. Under this option go to the default applications. There tap on the phone app. Here change the default application as contact app. Now go back, tap on the app management, there tap on the three dot menu from the top right corner. There select the system applications. Now using the search bar, search for the phone application. Here you will find the Google phone app, tap on it and tap on disable. This will disable the Google phone application. This is necessary for the proper working of OnePlus dialer application. Similarly, now search for the Google contacts, disable that too. Now in the app drawer, we will find single phone and contacts applications. If you check the versions of both applications using the i button, their version number is 13.10 latest one. Now let's check out if our newly installed applications are working or not. Let's open the Oxonus phone app. Who we'll gets the three different tabs at the bottom. First is the dialer, second is contacts and last is data services to get the details of the same data consumption. Contact apps is similar like we found under the phone app. All our contacts got automatically synchronized without doing anything after installation. Apps are working properly, you can add the new contacts and they got synchronized with our Google account. Under the three dot menu setting of the phone application, we didn't get the automatic call recording function. It's also not available for the Google dialer. Except this who gets the camera flashlight blinking for the incoming calls. Who get the swipe action setting for the incoming calls too. Now let's test the call recording function and look up dialer. When you call someone who gets this new dialer screen, all the things are working here like speaker mode for calls, video calling function is working if your carrier support direct video calling. Add calls for the conference mode, hold and mute buttons etc are working well. As we didn't get the automatic call recording, we have to manually tap on recording option. This will start the call recording without announcement. And when you stop the calls, you get the recorded calls under the call log section. To access the recorded calls, tap on this i button and present near call log. Now you get the full call history of that number recorded calls as this green call recording sign. If you tap on it first time, we need to give the media permission to the application when this prompts pop ups. Here give the permission to the music and audio to the application. Now swipe back to the application. Here your recorded calls audio will now hearable voice speaker audio. Let's test this for incoming calls. Who gets this new incoming call pop-ups? If you swipe up this notification, who accepts the calls and if you swipe down it will dismiss the calls. You can change these actions under the phone's three dot menu setting. This is nice animation for rejecting or accepting the incoming calls. Here I did the call recording once again after disconnecting the call who gets the recorded call notification under the notification panel. This incoming calls recording also working good without any issues. So that is for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.